so it's me your boy Kim Samson so I have this topic you know this have been in my mind for so long so stop running back to your past press towards the mark yes you know sometimes because we feel lonely <laughs> Sometimes it's because you know, I posted a video talking about don't let your loneliness take you back to your what? To your enemies. You know, sometimes we feel lonely. Sometimes we feel as if no one wants to be with us. You know, I know it's, it sounds somehow when you are around everybody, all of them become against you. Yes, I know how you feel me myself have experienced it i know how it feel but it is more better to preserve yourself than to have an injury and you'll be looking for medicine to cure it so what do i mean is this it is better to be alone than to be with people whom will always hurt you and expect you to come back to them also you know there are many people who have this intention they know what they are doing, they know everything, they know what they are doing to you, they know that they are, they are, what they are, they are hurting you severely, they know that what they are doing to you is not right and good, yet they will be doing it and they will also be expecting you to come back to them. So my brothers and sisters, let's stop going back to, what, to our past life. Yeah, sometimes maybe someone have frustrated frustrated us or maybe someone have caused us pain. Maybe someone have make us feel bad. Someone have rejected us. And because of that, we become we we anytime we involve in some certain things, we always recall our past. We always bring our past to our present. We always think that because because I do this, because I do that, I may not be able to achieve this. I may not be able to go through this. I may not be able to overcome. You will just be bringing your past because of some certain things that you have already been involved, because of some certain losses, because of some certain difficulties, because of some certain things that occur in your life. Sometimes we will be thinking that we cannot make it again. Listen, I know it's painful when... You, 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 you try to forget and your past. I know it's hard sometimes when you try to delete your past. But let's guess what? Bringing your past to your present can never solve your problem. Feeling to go back to your, to your past life because you feel lonely, because you feel you are alone, because maybe you feel nobody wants to be with you, and because of that, you want to go back to people who hurt you, your enemy, people whom you know that they don't like you, people whom you know that they don't want to support you, people whom you know that they don't care about you, people whom you know that they are secretly in competition with you, just that you feel alone, you want to go back to them, you will still be what they hurt. So it is much better than you, you feel alone than to feel with a company a company of what of haters, a company of competitors, a company that will not elevate you, a company that will not do what try to increase you. Listen, separation sometimes require uh, uh, you need to separate yourself in order for you to do or to be elevated. Sometimes elevation need was separation. You got what I'm saying? Sometimes elevation need was separation. For you to be elevated, for you to get success, to, for you to increase, for you to multiply your what your awareness, for you to multiply in all angles of life, you need to separate from some people who are not ready to go with you. So, listen, when, Mo when God was about to take the people of Israel into the wilderness, Moses was the, 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 the leader. Moses have done a lot, but God said to Moses, you will see the promised land, but you are not going to enter it. So what am I trying to say? Many people who is not going to be allowed to enter with you into that promised land. So st stop trying to drag them to come with you. Stop trying to drag them to come along with you. Why? Because God knows the reason why he caused that, 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 that delay. You know, sometimes God... Cause some certain issue into our life. Sometimes God bring up 
some certain what problem that will make us to identify those who are with you and um, sometimes we try to do what to make sure we bring them we try to make sure we keep them around us we try all means to make sure we we do what we let them be into our life why because we are thinking the value that we that they have or the the, the possibilities of having them well maybe we think that if perventure we keep them around us or if for example we have them around us they will increase us because maybe we think within us they have changed maybe we think within us they will change or maybe we have that mindset that one day they are going to change but no you can't change someone that is not ready to change you can't change someone who have already committed an offense two three four five times and you are expecting them to change they have that mindset within them that the more they treat you bad the more they will be expecting more to do and they still have that mindset no matter what they do you will always come back to them so what am i trying to say brothers and am i amazing choosing one up there don't go back to your vomit don't go back to your past don't draw your past to your present yes i know there are many people who have been maltreated severely badly by your brothers by your by your nephews by your cousins i know that it is it is too hard sometimes when people reject you and you come to a point where you 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 feel like quitting because of the, your past sometimes you feel like giving up because someone have rejected you or sometimes you feel like nobody love you you just want to give you give it up but remember your past cannot be compared with your present your present will always be bigger than your past so don't draw your past to your present don't go back to your past let's re let's forget the past just don't go back don't let anything draw you to the point where you will go back to your past you go see you know sometimes when things are becoming hard for us when things are becoming hard and we think that is the end of it we, we decide to go back to our former life living why because we want to make life so easy for us we want to achieve it more easier why because we know the things that come before when we are living not like a choosing or the things that we do used to achieve when we are following people whom we know that they are not rightful the people whom we know that they are not doing good the people whom we know that they are frustrators they are haters they are betrayers just because of the gain that they we see that they are gaining or just because of the certain things we see around them or just because of certain things the profit that they gain in betraying others we decide to go back to them let not allow those things to occur in our life let's not go back to the things that we have vomited let's not go back to our what to our life let's forget all those things and continue for your future can never be compared with your present forget about the hardship but forget about the trouble forget about the delay the pain your future can never be compared with your what with your present there must always be different turn around so this is all i have for you brothers this is all i bring to for you brothers so remember this don't go back to your past don't let loneliness don't let frustration don't let delay don't let betrayers lead you to a point where you will go back to your to your past let your past be your past don't let some certain things lead you to a point where you will go back to your past in all angles so remember this and be blessed forever